In his hometown of Twani. No, it feels great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to describe with words, but I mean, it's a, this is my home club, and uh, obviously having all my friends and family and all the members out here supporting me, it was a, it's a lot of extra pressure. But I also I decided to kind of turn it into kind of a momentum thing, and uh, in the end, it worked out beautifully, and I'm really happy. Yes, yeah, I mean, uh, I was very, very excited when they said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so obviously, that's, uh, <laughs> that's that actually uh, funny because uh, we had a barbecue, me and Adrian and Basil and my caddy on Monday at my dad's house and uh, so it's, it was nice to kind of compete with him as well. I don't know what he finished but I knew he was, he was up there most of the day. But yeah, obviously winning at my home club, uh, nothing, nothing beats it. Yeah. I've been trying to figure it out the whole day. Like I, I saw Jock was on 12 with one hole to go and I was like, no, okay, that's fine. 12, 12 we can manage, I just got to play well, you know. 
And usually if you see a guy post a number, it's always really difficult to kind of beat that number. You always either tie it or just finish below it. But um, luckily today I said, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world if I don't beat him. I mean, I'm going to go play and I'm going to go play my best and hopefully I'll, I'll match the number or beat the number. But uh, playing the back nine, I always thought like 17, 17, that's going to be the one. That's why I've got to make birdie on 17. So take a bit of pressure off the 18th and obviously give myself a cushion. But... Obviously had to pull all the other holes, but uh, yeah, that chip on 17 is, I guess, uh, I've hit that shot before. <laughs>